Hello everyone, myself Dr. Sriparna Saha and I hope you are already known that in my channel we have two different playlists, one for the lectures on artificial intelligence and also there is another playlist by following that playlist you will be able to learn how to write product programming. So today we are going to discuss about the lectures or the theory part of the artificial intelligence. And along with that, on the next video that is that will be uploaded in the channel, that will be on the prologue programming, how to implement the code that we have taught in the artificial intelligence series, lecture series, how to implement that using prologue. That is, this particular playlist is dedicated for. So, in the theory part of the artificial intelligence, we have so far talked about the local search and optimization. The next topic that will be on constant satisfaction problems. So let's start this particular video. So the constant satisfaction problem that is the CSP. How this type of problem is different than the standard search problem that is the earlier search techniques that we have already discussed in this particular playlist. So those are the standard search problem and how the CSP is different than those problems. So, in the standard search problem, here the state is a black box. Any data structure that supports successor function, heuristic function, and goal test that belongs to the standard search problem. So, here the basically the state, there is no particular definition or that is no particular representation of the state. That is, it is taken as a black box. But in the CSP, State is defined by variables x, i with values from domain d, i. Here, the goal test is the set of constants satisfying allowable combinations of values for subsets of variables. So, we will be going into the details with the example that is how the constant can be satisfied to reach or to justify that it is a goal state. So, here a simple example of a formal representation language. It allows useful general purpose algorithms with more power than standard search algorithms. So, just have an example of the CSP. It is a very common and well known example that is the map coloring. So, what does that mean? So, it is a map, right? You have a map of Australia. Now, suppose you need to color this particular map. And how you need to color that? What is the goal? The goal is to assign color to each region. So, what is the region? That is Western Australia. So, this is one particular region. So, the color of this particular region, that is a, so that no neighboring region. So, what are the neighboring regions of Western Australia? Northern Territory and South Australia. These are the two neighboring regions have the same color. So, that is if suppose we have given one color to northern territory, then its neighboring regions that is western Australia, south Australia, um, Queen Island, these should have different colors. So, for one, any one particular region, that color should be different than its neighboring regions. And if we can color the whole map maintaining this particular constraint, then that we are going to satisfy our CSP pro that is constant satisfaction problem that will be solved. So that is one particular region color should be different than its neighboring region color. That was our goal. So now just have that how to solve this problem. So what are the variables here? Variables here are the name of the region. So Western Australia is similar way it is NT. And this is the Q by that variable we have defined. This is NSW by that variable it has been defined. This is D, this is SA and this is T. Right. So, by the um, name that the variables has been given. Okay. Now, what are the domains? So domains are the how many colors you can put in this map. There are three different colors. That is the RGB colors which is red, green, blue. That is by these three colors, red, green and blue, you can color this particular map. And what are the constraints over here? Constraint is that one particular constraint that is 
adjacent regions must have different color that is for example wa color should be different or not equal to nt or a wa nt in it can be in red green color that is one color suppose it is red then it will be green if it is red it can be blue now if it is green it could be red now if it is green it could be blue now if it is blue it can be red if it is blue then it can be green so these are the all possible combinations could be possible if we have these three colors and considering these two variables that is these two variables then these could be the all possible variables variations that would happen in the mass coloring satisfying the constraint that is this particular constraint right now just see this is the solution that is we have given that is w a as red so if it is red then this and this color cannot be red so this is is green suppose and this is in then this is uh, s a is blue now if these are green and blue so this color should be red and if it is red so its neighboring is what uh, this is a this is so this is green right now if the blue and green so it should be red and then is it is green so these are the solution and here the solutions are complete and consistent assignment and these are the assignments so now have one an, um, another graph representation of that map so what does this means that is the wa wa is connected to nt and sa why just take wa is connected to nt and sa now nt and sa both are connected that is nt and sa this both are connected now nt is connected to q just take nt is connected to q now sa is connected to q again just take sa is connected to q and q is connected to nt sa uh, nsw right this now sa is connected to uh, nt uh, q wa nsw and v just take all the connections have been given and t if there is no connection with t with any one of that so this is the representation of this map coloring problem using constant curve now if it is a binary csp then each constant variable or, or sorry each constant relates to two variables right and and the constant graph what are here that is the nodes are the variables just you can say that is what are the variables over here these are the variables over here now these variables are represented by the nodes right so these are the variables that has been represented by the nodes and the arcs are the constants why this is the constant that is the sorry these are the constants that is adjacent regions must have different colors so the arcs are the constant that is if these are connected so both of their colors should be different so this is the representation of the graphical format now just have some real world uh, csp problem so it could be a assignment problem that is who teaches what class so i am taking your artificial intelligence class so no other teacher of this department teaching this particular student should not be assigned to the ai class right then another is time tabling problem that is which class is offered when and where so i am teaching to you people so you people should not have another class at this particular time right and the place where i am teaching right now it's online but suppose we are talking about the offline class so my class will be assigned to one particular classroom suppose it's a ai5 class number is ai5 suppose the classroom number so in this particular time there should not be another class that assigned to that particular classroom now another problem can be transportation scheduling factory scheduling and notice that you should notice that many real world problems involve real valued variables so these are the examples of real world csp problem now a standard search formulation how the incremental standard search formulation can be represented in the algorithm form so let's start with straight forward approach then fix it now here the problem is a incremental one so the states are defined by the values assigned so far 
where the term is so far as it's incremental so it could be increased so states are defined by values assigned so far so at that particular time assigned it so the initial state that is the empty assignment by this third bracket empty assignment can be denoted now the successor function assign a value to an unassigned variable that does not conflict with current assignment that is fail if no legal assignments are there then the goal test the current assignment is complete this is the same for all csps every solution appears at depth n with n variable and we should use depth for search here and the path is irrelevant that is which by which and which we are going that is irrelevant just have heard how we are traveling to here to here or by this way or by this way that is irrelevant that is not any constraint over here right so the path is irrelevant so can also use complete state information formulation and here b uh, can be calculated by this so that is the incremental standard search formulation algorithm now the local search for c here you need to note that the path to the solution is unimportant that we have already told so we can apply local search over here so in the earlier case that is the last video that is on the local search you must go through that particular video so understand why this type of local search problems are for those particular cases where the path is not our or the, uh, how the path is designed that is not important in that particular case local search can be implemented and here the path to the solution is unimportant so we can use the local search for csps now to apply to csps allows allow states with unsatisfied constraints operators reassign variable values and the variable selection that can be done by randomly select any conflicted variable the value selection by mean conflict heuristic that i already told in the previous lecture you should follow that one that is here you need to choose value that violates the fewest constraint that is for the hill climbing with hn the total number of violated constraints that you need to calculate at this point now just have the example uh, just to understand how the local search for csps can be implemented have this particular example of n queen so here these are the states and the path is unimportant and the states are for how you can define the state that is four queens in four columns that is there could be 4 to the power 4 that is 256 states could be possible now what are the actions over here that is you need to move queen in one column what is the goal test over here that is no attacks are there and how you can evaluate the hn that is the heuristic function value that is the number of attacks and just check the values have been given so here the h value is 5 h value is 2 and h value is 0 and this local is towards minimizing the value h value that is whenever the h value is 0 our problem will be solved so by this way if we move the queens the problem will be solved that is given random initial state can solve n queens in almost constant time for arbitrary n with high probability and n value is this for example so this is the example of using local search in csp problem so this is all about the constant satisfaction problem uh this by that you can understand i hope if there is any problem please write down in the comment section thank you everyone for watching this particular video and happy studying